Hello, my name is Roseanne Vitale, and today I will be covering the prosection of an oriented skin ellipse. What you see here is an oriented skin ellipse that I have created using pig skin. On the superior aspect of the specimen here is a stitch, which I will be calling my orientation. When receiving an oriented specimen, you need to check the requisition form and confirm that the orientation you see on the specimen makes sense and correlates with what's in the clinical notes for the patient. So um, the first thing I will do is check that requisition, make sure everything makes sense, and then I will measure my specimen in three dimensions. So in this case, you measure the length and width of the skin ellipse and then the depth as well. So I will go ahead and do those steps in a dictation format. So received fresh, labeled with the patient name, comma MRN, and open quote, left leg skin ellipse, close quote period. It consists of an oriented, open parentheses, suture equal sign 12 o'clock, close parentheses, tan skin ellipse, open parentheses, 5.8 centimeters in length by 2.2 centimeters in width by 1.1 centimeters in depth. Close parentheses with a brown, black, ill-defined lesion. Open parentheses, 2.0 by 1.1 centimeters on the skin surface, which is located zero point eight centimeters from the ten o'clock margin, close parentheses period. So then at this point, after you've done those initial measurements, so I'll just go through those again. Um, so again, check the orientation, then measure the skin in length and width, and then the depth of the specimen. Then you'll measure the lesion in two dimensions on the skin surface. The third dimension will be obtained upon serial sectioning. So now at this point, I'm going to ink, and we ink oriented skin ellipses two colors. So now, um, what I'd like you to do is turn the specimen over, and so I have this pre-labeled diagram here for myself. So again, I labeled this, this was designated as 12 o'clock. So in the clock face, you have 12, three, six, and nine. But I'm gonna turn it over. So I wanna make sure I'm maintaining my orientation. Another thing to keep in mind is you do not want to remove the suture until you have completed your inking. So what I'm gonna do is take this and now turn it over. So again, now I have 12, three, six, and nine o'clock. Um, facing me. So I will ink from 12 to 6 o'clock red and then from 6 to 12 o'clock blue. After you have allowed your ink to dry and applied your mordant, you be may begin serially sectioning your specimen.
Okay. So the specimen is serially sectioned to 12 to 6 o'clock to demonstrate a tan white to tan pink cut surface. Period, the lesion extends 0 0.9 centimeters from the skin surface and is located one point one centimeters from the deep surface of the specimen period. And then you would say that the specimen is submitted entirely as follows. So then I'll, I would remove this suture. Um, so usually you can just use your forceps and a pair of scissors to remove the suture because histology cannot cut through it. So I would just get my scissors in there into the knot and remove that. Okay, and so then the tip has both the um, red ink color and the blue, and so that's actually going to go on fast, so tip down so that they're cutting into the true margin. Same thing with the six o'clock tip. So then I would say the specimen is submitted from 12 to six o'clock entirely as follows, and so I would say A1 um, for my cassette that had the first section would be A1 colon 12 o'clock tip comma on fast. And then I would go through the rest of my cassettes and then my six o'clock tip would be in the last section or last cassette. So make sure that after you serially section your skin specimens that you measure, get that third dimension of your lesion, you measure the distance of that lesion to the deep surface of the specimen. All right, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions.